Now, over the years, Africa has been reputed, uh, reputed by the uh, mainstream media and the uh, West as a dark continent, despite its huge potentials. Now, as such, there is the need to change the narrative and celebrate Africa and its people. Those are the words of Mark Idiai, the convener of the Future Leadership Conference at this year's Award for Public Sector and Entrepreneurship, tagged the Renaissance uh, reposition, reposition in Africa for global relevance. Details in this report. The venue is filled to capacity, and the main focus is to celebrate Africa and Africans, and indeed excellence in leadership and entrepreneurship. The convener, Mark Idiahi, takes to the stage and shares on the unparalleled dynamism of the African spirit. There is a deliberate attempt by the West, facilitated by the mainstream media, to underestimate the potential of Africa. The conversation continues in earnest on the way forward for the continent. No doubt the choice of the speakers is informed on their passion in telling the African story. First time in our life as Africans, we have a plan for 50 years. Our personal identity is internalized. And that's you. So as questions are raised on why Africans do not celebrate themselves, the issue of leadership also takes center stage. While we celebrate our GDP as Africa, one of those top 50 companies, their revenue and their capitalization is more than our continental GDP. So that's something to think about. Then you now add the fact that 80% of the world's resources are under our feet in Africa. So we, we, we've come of age, we will no longer allow people to give us a name just so they can appease whatever uh, desire or innuendos they have about Africa. We believe as a people we have to begin to beam light on our potential and appreciate and celebrate what we have. I would tell you that we no longer need politicians in leadership. Over the years we have had politicians in leadership and look at where that brought us. It is almost as if we clamor for new uh, regime, new set of leaders, then eventually when they are voted into power, we, it's almost as if we find ourselves in a war situation. And the solution to that, like Ma John Marshall would say, everything rises and falls on leadership. We have to become very pragmatic. What is the panacea for the leadership challenge in the continent? And just how can Nigeria and Africa take over the hems of affairs in the productive sector and even the creatives? We have leaders who seek to, their yardsticks and their standards of leadership is foreign. So when they um, encounter African problems, it tends to be strange for them and makes them either weak, disconnected from, from the, the problem on ground. You know, African problem is different from Chinese problem. Nigeria's gross GDP has been enriched by 156 billion naira this year alone with Nollywood and Nigeria music. But that's very little compared to what we could actually do if the government and the banks, etc., would support us more. So as the evening swings on, exceptional people are awarded and celebrated for their passion and drive to bring out the extra in women empowerment, entrepreneurship, creativity, and lots more. Thank you so much for the good work you are doing. Justin Akadoni, Plus TV News, Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.